نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم lesson number 9 in this lesson we are still learning in and its uh, our sisters the rules and some other rules and probably uh, tarkib so we will skip uh, b we studied a we will skip and we'll go to uh, the second which says the khabar can be a complete sentence as I said inna has uh, ism and khabar so here it says the khabar can be a complete sentence for example inna zaydan ummuhu salihatun indeed Zaid's mother is pious so Zaid ummuhu saliha this is a complete sentence. If you take out the inna, it will be Zaydun ummuhu saliha. Zaid's mother is pious, or Zaid, his mother is pious. So when we add inna Zaydun ummuhu saliha, indeed Zaid's mother is pious, it gives uh, more taqid. So inna, uh, it changes the ism to uh, nasab. Inna Zaydan Ummuhu Salihatun. So the Turkey is if you look at it. Inna is Al Huruf Mushabaha bi Fi'al. Zaydan is some of Inna. And Ummuhu is Mudaf in Mudafile. Ummuhu. Mudaf. Um is Mudaf. Who is Mudafile? Ummuhu becomes Mubtada. Ummuhu Mubtada becomes Mubtada and uh, Salihatun becomes the Khabar of Mubtada. Ummuhu Salihatun is Mubtada Khabar uh, sentence. Uh, his mother is pious. So Ummuhu Salihatun is the uh, uh, Ummuhu is Mubtada and Khabar uh, and uh, Salih is Khabar is Jumla Ismiya uh, Khabariya. So they all together, Ummuhu Salihatun, Muqtada Khabar, Jumla Asmiya Khabariya, sorry Khabariya, becomes the Khabar of Inna. So Zaydun is Ism of Inna, Ummuhu Salihatun is becoming, it's a complete sentence, is becoming the Khabar of Inna. So Inna Zaydun, Ummuhu Salihatun is the Indeed, Zaid's mother is pious. Uh, the khabar is a complete sentence. If you look at the uh, example two, in Zaidan akala ta'ama. In indeed, Zaidan akala ta'ama, Zaid ate the food. If you take out the inna, it will be Zaidun akala ta'ama, akala ta'ama, as Zaid ate the food. So when we put the inna, it becomes uh, 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 more taqid, more emphasis. Indeed, inna zaydan akala ta'ama, indeed zayd ate the food. If we look at tarqib, inna is huruf mushamba bifi'al, zaydan ism of inna. Akala is fi'al with fa'al. Uh, akala he ate. So it's fi'al ma'a fa'al. Yani fail with fail. A ta'am is mut'ul. So it's all uh, is uh, a sentence is becoming fail, fail, mafool uh, is becoming jumla, fi'aliya, khabriya. So uh, we study jumla, fi'aliya. Uh, so akala ta'am is becoming the khabar of inna. So zaydan is the ism of inna akala ta'ama is the khabar of inna the whole thing is becoming the khabar of inna and this is and the whole thing zaydan akala ta'ama is a complete sentence and if zaydan the ism and this also is a complete sentence sentence becoming the khabar of inna as we said uh, 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 
الخبر of in can be a complete sentence. If you look at a different example, example number three, here it shows, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the, the rule uh, number three. Uh, if the khabar is jar majroor, and then the khabar will appear first, then is some second. So remember, if there is jar majroor in in, the jar majroor will be will come first. The jar majroor will become will come first, and then the uh, ism, and that is the khabar. Uh, if the khabar is jar majroor, if the, then the khabar will appear first, and is some one second. For example, inna ilayna ayabahum. In inna ilayna ayabahum. Indeed, ilayna to us ayabahum is their return. So inna ilayna ayabahum. Indeed, to us is their return. So inna, I will look at the tarkib. So inna is harof mushamba bifail, and ilayna is jar majrur. Ilayna ila. Uh, is uh, jar na is majroor so ilayna is jar majroor is becoming the khabar of inna which is coming muqaddam mean first it is coming first muqaddam mean first khabar is coming first here ilayna is uh, jar majroor and becoming the khabar of inna iyabahum is mudaf and mudaf ilay uh, their return iyabahum their return so their return is mudaf and mudaf ilay. I hope you remember mudaf and mudaf ilay. So iyabahum is mudaf and mudaf ilay. And mudaf and mudaf ilay is becoming the ism of inna. And which is mu'akhar, which is coming second or after. So inna ilayna iyabahum. Allah says in the Quran, inna ilayna iyabahum. Indeed, to us is their return. So... Uh, Elena is the khabar of Inna, which is Muqaddam, coming first, and Iyabahum is the uh, ism of Inna, which is coming after. So try to understand uh, these uh, few rules. Uh, if you remember, the first rule was, uh, let me go up, the first rule was uh, that the Inna the difference between inna and anna. Inna becomes in the beginning of a sentence and anna becomes in the middle of a sentence. That's the first rule. And the second rule, and we are skipping, and the first rule, section B. And you can read, but, uh, uh, and number two is, the khabar can be a complete sentence. For example, inna zaydan ummuhu salihatun, ummuhu salihatun, is the khabar of inna which is a complete sentence and also uh, an example or two inna zaydan akala ta'ama indeed they ate the food so akala ta'ama is khabar of inna is a complete sentence and the rule number three uh, is if the khabar is jar majroor then the khabar will appear first and the ism second so inna ilayna iyabahum ilayna in jar majroor which is coming first is the khabar muqaddam and iyabahum is the inas ism coming after. So try to study, try to understand, put some time into it. Inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy. By understanding this, we are in Quran oh, is becoming easy. Uh, the more we study, inshallah, the more we understand this rule, then Quran will become easy. So inshallah, slowly, slowly we will start. Quran as well. So inshallah, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it the mean of our hidayah and the hidayah of the whole mankind. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this from us. Subhanahu wa rabbika rabbil hinsati ya maasifoon. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Wa alhamdulillahi wa alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.